Welcome to our live training session number 24. We're going to be tuning a 2014 Camaro SS using HB tuners. Let's jump into some details about this vehicle. We're going to find it has a bone stock LS3 engine, has an intake, a positive displacement supercharger, long tube header back exhaust, FIC 650cc injectors, a ZL1 fuel pump assembly, a three bar map sensor, and again we're going to be tuning it using HB tuners on 93 octane. Now that we covered all the details of the vehicle, let's jump into our live training session so we can create our base map to get the engine fired up and start our live training session. Welcome to our live training session here with our 2014 Camaro that's been supercharged. Now we went over the details of the vehicle, so let's jump in now to our VCM editor so we can read the engine control module and begin this live training session. So jumping in here, I'm gonna move up to the top. We're gonna see we have our read icon, read vehicle. We're gonna click read vehicle and then we're going to let it do the read here. So we're going to find that it has two modules that's going to be reading. It's going to be reading the engine control modules we can find here in E38 ECM, and then it's going to be also reading our fuel pump control module. So we're going to let it read both. We're going to be saving this as original with the fuel pump control module. Then we're going to go back in and do a reread again, and we're going to ignore the fuel pump control module because when we go to write the file back to the car, I don't want to have to pay a license fee on the fuel pump control module. I don't anticipate having to change anything on this particular setup. It just has that drop-in ZL1 fuel pump assembly in it, so it shouldn't have to have anything programmed on the fuel pump control module that's going to make me recredit it. But it's always good to read the fuel pump control module so that we're going to have the information there as we're doing our tuning and we're referencing our fuel pressure and the desired fuel pressure. We need to make sure that if we're seeing some kind of discrepancy from what the file showing as the desired pressure. We want to make sure that the fuel pump control module side of things doesn't have a different desired pressure or target pressure that is going to be commanding and working with. We'll look at that once we get into the logging side of things and we start to do our tuning. But for now, let's be patient here and let it read. It's going to be taking about two to three minutes to read our engine control module and about 30 to 60 seconds to read the fuel pump control module. So we're just going to let it read. Once it reads, we'll save this as original and then we'll do another read again, ignoring a fuel pump control module so we can only license our engine control module. And if we need to see at any point in time what the fuel pump control module is doing, we're gonna have access to that original uh, information that we haven't licensed, but we have it saved. So I'll be patient right now and let this finish its, uh, this, its downloading and then we'll continue on with the video. Okay, so it just finished the read of the engine control module and the fuel pump control module. So now let's create a folder here. Um, I have a customs tune directory that I have saved under documents, HP tuners, and then custom tunes. I'm gonna be saving this in my custom tune directory. I'm gonna go here to new folder. I'm gonna create a folder here. I'm gonna call this EPA Camaro SS supercharged. And then let's go here and I'm gonna be saving this as original read plus fuel pump control module. So I'm gonna be labeling it that. And then we're gonna go in here, click save, and let's go and take a look at the file real 